deputies involved in this incident were placed on administrative leave pending final investigative findings due to recent developments, including findings during our internal investigation, those deputies that were still employed by this department have all been terminated. Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey reading off a prepared statement regarding the deputies involved in the January incident where Michael Corey Jenkins and Eddie Parker say they were tortured, tased, and beaten. However, the sheriff didn't offer much else after that. We cannot, however, confirm or deny any specific facts related to this incident because of active ongoing, active and ongoing investigations. Malik Shabazz, who's the attorney representing the two men, responding to these latest developments, saying, quote, Sheriff Brian Bailey has finally acted after supporting much of the bloodshed that has occurred under his reign in Rankin County. The next credible and honorable step for Brian Bailey is to resign or to be ousted. In quote, everything dating back to January 24th. That's when deputies were called out to 135 Connerly Road in Braxton after reports of narcotic activity. While responding, Shabazz says the deputies tased, punched, and sexually abused the two men for 90 minutes, and one deputy shot Jenkins in the face. Body cameras were not activated during this entire incident. In February, the Department of Justice opened an investigation into possible civil rights violations by the Rankin County Sheriff's Department. On June 12th, a civil rights lawsuit was filed against the deputies involved at the Sheriff's Department seeking $400 million in compensatory and punitive damages. Then, more than a week later, on June 23rd, deputies involved in the incident were fired from the department. While Shabazz is happy to hear that the deputies have been fired, he says he still thinks they should face a stiffer punishment, saying, quote, However, criminal indictments of the deputies from the Attorney General of the State of Mississippi and criminal indictments by the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice is the next step in this tough fight for justice in this nasty ordeal, end quote. The Rankin County deputies linked to the alleged torture of two men at a Braxton home have been terminated. 12 News' Leah Williams has reaction from the Rankin County Sheriff and an attorney representing the two men. A group of Rankin County deputies allegedly abused Eddie Parker and Michael Corey Jenkins at Parker's home in Braxton on January 24th. Jenkins was also shot in the mouth. Attorneys for the two men filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the deputies and Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey. Sheriff Bailey says he called in the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation himself after the incident. We have cooperated with all investigation efforts related to this incident and have provided all information and data requested in a timely manner. This will continue until all investigative efforts are complete and justice is served. On Friday, five months later, all of the deputies involved were terminated. Due to recent developments, including findings during our internal investigation, those deputies that were still employed by this department have all been terminated. The Rankin County Sheriff's Office would not confirm the exact number of deputies that were let go, but six were named in the federal lawsuit. Sheriff Brian Bailey says he has no intentions of stepping down as the sheriff, and he's using this investigation to improve his department. We've already taken actions to ensure that we serve and protect the public while making sure the rights of all citizens are protected. These actions include a detailed analysis of our policies, procedures, and training of all department personnel. We've also retained a full-time compliance officer for monitoring of our daily operations and to ensure our department remains compliant with all state and federal law. One of the attorneys representing Parker and Jenkins, Malik Zulu Shabazz, said in a statement, quote, Sheriff Brian Bailey has finally acted after supporting much of the bloodshed that has occurred under his reign in Rankin County. He continued saying the next step should be criminal indictments against the deputies involved. This incident is still under investigation by MBI and the U.S. Department of Justice. In Rankin County, Leah Williams, 12 News. All right. Not every black person should be outraged at this point. Every human being that has any humanity in them should be outraged. 
I know what Jane Elliott said when she said, how many of y'all want to be treated the way we are being treated? Stand up. Nobody stood up. So that means you are you know what's happening and you complicit in our abuse. Where's the Quakers? Where are the people with soul? Where are the people who are concerned about humanity and their fellow human beings? I'm going to tell you this right now. The officers in Mississippi, they shouldn't be on leave. It sh forget about being far or fired. Okay, that's a step. They need to be criminally charged. They need to be criminally charged for sodomizing, molestation, abuse, aggravated assault, every crime that they could do against a person and they shot somebody in the mouth because the guy said he put the gun in his mouth and shot him. But you want to tell me these guys can cut off their damn cameras? And you want to tell me that there's no criminal charges? And the damn Joe Biden and the Democrats or whoever are blocking this qualified immunity? Ain't nothing going to get done as long as cops don't get punished. As long as you can't take their pension, as long as you can't do shit to them, ain't nothing going to happen. That's obvious. Black people, we are going to be forced to stand together. All this self-hatred and killing yourself, you got to stop it. You got to stop this. And every humane white person under the sound of my voice got to want to stop it too. If not, black people, black people, y'all going to stand about like this? You, you, they already kill our kids. These are people that are supposed to protect and serve. And because they got that damn uniform on, y'all think they something special? I don't want to hear no more, this is a good cop and this is a bad cop. Let me say this. Black people, if you haven't found nothing to continue to see, back in the 60s, we had a reason to stand up. We had a reason to pull ourselves up by the bootstrap and fight the enemy. And we had to keep coming. At this point, every black person in Mississippi should be on arms. Should be on. I know it's scary. They have a history. They have a history of brutalizing us. I get it. But y'all going to have to, we're going to have to get rid of qualified immunity. These officers are going to have to be Punished. The only reason they do shit like this because they know ain't gonna nothing gonna happen to them. And when it does, the taxpayers are settled are being forced to be punished twice for the irresponsibility of these officers. It's got to stop people. Y'all sitting up here running about who's a trans man and what woman is a real woman and all that stupid madness that white men are creating. These are white men that are allowing us to be brutally murdered. Or damn near in some cases. That's why I watch Teal with my grandbaby. Because I want them to know the evilness. The evilness that are in the souls of lurking in some men. I need for them to know that. This right here is totally unacceptable. Got the nerve talking about the officers on me. Fired. I don't give a damn about them being fired. I want them charged with attempted murder because these men were sleeping with some white woman, some virtuous white woman, right? Don't y'all understand when white women want to give up their pussy, ain't nothing y'all can do about it. When white women want to give their pussy to black men, you might as well deal with it. Deal with it. You impotent, weak ass I have to calm down. I have to calm down. 
All I can say is I pray for my brothers in Mississippi. I pray for the people in Mississippi. But ain't shit going to happen until y'all all stand up collectively and say that's enough of this bullshit. All over the country, we should all be fighting for qualified immunity on the same page, on the same voice, on one accord. What good is reparations if they're going to kill us like this and treat us so human inhumane? You already see they're not going to stop by the goodness of their heart, because they ain't got no goddamn heart. People like this need to be destroyed. You make an example out of these type of people. You don't let them stick guns in people's mouths and molest them with dildos and bust eggs and milk and shit over their head and then talk about, oh, we got a few bad apples. I've heard about white men going in people's houses shitting on the ground. I know you did it because you did it in a white house. Somehow y'all nasty cave dwellers like shitting on people's property. This is insane. And if every good white person under the sound of my voice don't think it is, fuck you. You a part of the problem too. You a part of the problem. Ain't no nice way to say this shit. We got to fight back. It's just as simple as that. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. That's what I'm saying at this point.